Hello and welcome. Let's model this twisted connector with Autodesk Inventor. I'll start with a 2D sketch on the XZ plane. Take that line tool, start at the origin, go to the left, connect a circle to that point here. Go back to the line tool, connect that here, go over there, make that arc, finish that, go to the mirror, take those three here, with that as the mirror line. Go to the concentric, Make these two concentric and connect those to our first circle. Make that here a construction line. Apply some dimensions. The first one is um, 18 diameter. And that arc is uh, 25. And that line here is 24. And then one dimension between that line and the origin, make that 30. Okay, go into finish the sketch and go into the, the extrude. Take that region with a symmetric um, offset distance 12 millimeters. All right, and now let's mirror this solid body. and make that a new solid mirroring over the xy plane here that one okay next we will uh, rotate that right body here for that let's make that z axis visible so the rotation will be 90 degrees around that. And so we get this move body tool. Take that. We don't want any linear um, movement. We just want to rotate about that line with a 90 degree. The rotation axis is that one. And that's it. Then, okay. We can hide that z axis again. And now let's draw um, 3D splines. So, below the 2D sketch command, we get the 3D sketch. Then, here we get the spline. We get two types with control vertices and interpolation. So I take the spline command, connect that those two vertices, then hover over one end of that spline, activate that handle, go to the Z parallel with Z axis constraint, apply that, and do the same thing on the other side. Here, go to the dimension tool here and apply the value of one. And here again, one. 
Okay, let's rotate our object and do the same thing between these two vertices. So, spline, connect that over here, right click, activate Z axis. Again, here. Dimension. One. Again. Rotate again here, spline from here to there. last time. We do all of this in one single sketch. From here to there. Okay, now let's finish our sketch, and we we almost get a preview of our loft here with those splines. And now let's take that tool here, the loft, and for sections, we can just pick faces. So we take that face. And that one. And then with that Rails option activated, we'll just pick our four um, 3D splines. I get this Join um, Bodies option. So at this, this moment, we got two solids here. This was joined. This is still missing, so we go to the combine. Take these two. And we're done with the loft. And we can apply a chamfer with a distance of one. And just pick those edges here with a tangent propagation, apply that. And finally, um, we can apply some um, appearance to our object. OK, that's it for this video. I hope you liked that, and I see you in the next one.